Yes, welcome to Can of Worms. We're going to start off as we always do with the wrong meter. Now, this isn't on the show, it's part hors d'oeuvre, part foreplay, and it just gives us a chance to get to know our guests, get them warmed up a little bit, and also make use of this fantastic prop that we made for episode one and never made it to another <laughs> show. It's a shame. <laughs> hey, that's TV. That's TV. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to get a sense for your, your sense of wrong and right, OK? So, we're going to give you three stories that hit the press this week around the world and some close to home. Now, they have got everyone's knickers in a twist. They're all a little bit wrong. It's up to, up, up to you to decide how wrong. And we do this with the aid of our wrong meter, Michelle. Yes, and we'll get you to decide if the stories are perfectly OK. Maybe they're fine and we're overreacting, Jules. Or maybe it's a bit wrong. It's a bit sort of James Matheson. Oh, I think it's wrong. <laughs> I'm not sure he's so hard to read. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> or is it Kyle Sanderland's wrong? <laughs> Feral, wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wait, wait. <laughs> On the middle ground between OK and Kyle Sanderland? Yeah. No, I just <laughs> looked up and saw you and then I thought, God, he's hard to read. And I just sort of said it yeah. out loud. But you, you're... <laughs> we'll decide. I'll decide. I'll let you know throughout the evening. You might go OK. OK, we'll crack on. Now, now, our first story comes from actress Jessica Alba, who is gorgeous, of course, gorgeous. But how gorgeous would you think she is when you discover that she confessed this week that she punishes her three-year-old daughter by giving her time out in the darkened bathroom? Locking your kids in the dark, James? How long uh, is that? Is... is... When you say darkened bathroom... No lights. Yeah, right. Off. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like holding the child under the bath. No. <laughs> no. No. But she's only a little kid. Wait till she's a teenager and she gets real naughty. Then yeah. it might be a bit of under the under bath. The water yeah, it could be. I yeah. don't know. Uh, look, she's hot enough to get away with that. Yeah? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So that's OK for Alba. Not as hot, bit wrong. OK. <laughs> Julie, Julie, you've worked in a juvenile detention centre. Now, you wouldn't have locked kids in the dark if they'd been naughty, would you? Is that where you, you learn to do mashed potatoes? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's that's no, cold. No, I'm that's not cold wanking. Cold. <laughs> I was mashing potato. Hey. Oh Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Mooney. <laughs> Yellow card, Mooney. <laughs> So, Julie, is that, is that wrong, locking your kid in the dark at yeah, three years old? Yeah, a three-year-old is going to be terrified by that. I, I think that's wrong.com. Oh, oh. wrong.com. It's a new yeah, version you... of wrong. Kyle Sanderland's wrong.com. Kyle Sanderland's wrong.com. Oh, How about you, yeah. Lawrence? Right. You've, got, you've got a kid, don't you? I've got a child and uh, we had a no, no smacking policy, but darkened bathroom. I mean, what did the child do wrong? Um, let the Said her last punish... movie was shit. Let the... <laughs> Then they should be given their own bathroom, <laughs> fully lit. Um, yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong in the eyes of the Lord. OK, well, we'll give, <laughs> we'll give this one to you. Where are you going to put it on the, on the, on the scale of Carl Sanderlands? It's down the bottom, is it? Carl yeah, it's a, totally. OK, our second story is... Have you heard of the website ashleymadison.com? Well, it's a dating website designed specifically for those who wish to have extramarital affairs. There's so and they... many men in this room pretending they've never yeah. heard of that website. Yeah. <laughs> right Looking at the ones, I've never heard of that. No, oh, no, sounds like nonsense. Like but that... women don't have extramarital affairs? No, but I just heard a very masculine roar, 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 roar. <laughs> <laughs> well, the company Ashley Madison is so confident of their product that they're offering a money-back guarantee for those who can't find a fling. Now, Julie, sex or your money back, where would you pop this on our chart? Oh, I don't think it would be any surprise to anyone to know that I think that's horrendous, actually. I really? Think seeking out um, sex outside your marriage is just... It's just against everything that I hold dear to my heart. Yeah, I get that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get Don't that. your eyes at me, Michelle No, but what Laurie. I'm saying is if you had found yourself on the website and still not got laid, I mean, that's an ACCC <laughs> issue, surely. <laughs> well, full 
false advertising, for yes. sure. But, yeah. I won't find myself on that website, I don't All right, think. Darling. Hey, lo Lawrence, Lawrence. So the, the, what, their I'm sorry, is, what's, the, what's the question? The question is, <laughs> the question is Ashley Madison offering, offering up extramarital affairs or your money back. And their slogan is, life's too short, have an affair. Do you think this is wrong? Your wife might watch this. No, no, I... I He's I'm making thinking... sure she doesn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's tied up in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> she's been very naughty. Uh, very naughty. Um, I... I think it's a service for people that want to have affairs, so, no, I think it's perfectly fine. Ooh. OK, James? I think, it, like Julie, it's pretty immoral, but also, you know... If you go on the site and, you know, you don't get laid, you want to get your money back, don't you? <laughs> I've invested hard-earned internet dollars, you know, <laughs> looking for someone who's just as immoral. That's, that's too it, it's, perfectly It's only place. immoral if you've got a code of morals written up and plastered to the wall of So where's house. it going to go? <laughs> Julie, where do you want to put it? Down the bottom? I'd have it right down the so bottom. So it's down the bottom with oh. Jessica Alba. Wait, okay. look at those. That looks like a reality TV show right there. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Sanderlands, Jessica Alba, and someone going. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, if he had Jessica Alba on, he might turn up now and then. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, for... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our final, our final story for the Rongometer is a it's a gym in the old Dart where I come from, uh, and it's obviously the UK is going to hell in a handcart because this gym in the UK teaches seven-year-olds how to pole dance. Oh. Now, Lawrence. What do you think of that? Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> um, that's wrong on every level. But... Um, <laughs> anything to stop obesity. <laughs> <laughs> it's got you there. OK, James. Is that, wait, is that one of the specific techniques that they're I'm taught? I'm not sure which way it goes, though. See that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that? I'd teach my kid to do that yeah. in a second. Look at that, they're flying through the air! <laughs> that, not so much. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't feel right, does it? No. Like, I don't know if seven-year-olds should be taught to give lap dances. It's just something that they should learn later in life. Right. <laughs> So, Julie, is seven-year-old too young to have a stripper name? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I hate to be the, you know, the, the, the mama the whole time. That's but, fine. Yeah. You so carry I, on. I'm all for kids exercising, but I don't think it needs to be that kind of exercise. All right. What if it's for, like, for if they're competing in a, in a beauty pageant? And that's oh, their act. well. Let's give them a cute, set of benches and let them go nuts. Yeah. But yeah. If we take no, the, that's horrible too. If we take the strip club element out of it and think, well, kids go along to gymnastics dressed in a leotard, which is essentially what they'd be wearing, and they're on a pole and we don't think, hey, they're going to become prostitutes, they're exercising on a yeah. piece of gym equipment. If the so pole it might be the Roman ribbons, rings or whatever. And it's yeah. a maypole. So it's like a, yeah. it's, it's like a, a monkey bar with one bar. <laughs> <laughs> So no. as long as there's no monkey business on the monkey bar, yeah. we're fine. Or, according to Julie, if it's a maypole, it's yeah. OK. It's I'd funny. actually go to that strip club. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be full of Morris dancers. It'd be yeah. an awful place. OK, where's it going to go, James? Uh, oh, I think it's very wrong, oh. actually. So they're all oh. down there? Yeah, I'm afraid so. so. It's plain to see tonight we've invited the Taliban. Give them a round of applause. <laughs>